I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Embattled Flagler County Administrator Craig Coffey offers to resign. The county commission will call a special meeting at 5.30 p.m. to determine whether to accept Coffey's offer. It comes just days before commissioners were likely to fire him in a meeting that had been scheduled for Monday. Commission Chairman Donald O'Brien called it a separation agreement, meaning it's contingent on Coffey receiving some severance. If Coffey were fired, he'd be eligible for six months' severance. There appears to be some disagreement, though, over whether his resignation should be effective immediately or come within a few months. O'Brien and Commissioner Joe Mullins favor an immediate end to Coffey's tenure. The county administrator, who's had 11 years on the job, has come under scrutiny in several areas, including his handling of the Sheriff's Office Operations Center, which has been shuttered since June after dozens of workers reported that the work environment made them sick. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport. Save time, money, and stress. The Daytona Beach International Airport. Delta Airlines nonstop to Atlanta. Sunwing Airlines nonstop to Toronto. And starting in May, nonstop flights to New York City via American Airlines. What's next for Flagler's vacant Sea Ray Boats plant? John R. King takes a look. Economic development officials in Flagler County are taking a glass half full approach in 2019 when it comes to the loss of the Sea Ray Boats manufacturing plant and its approximately 475 jobs. While losing a major employer is never good news for a community, officials are pitching it as a prime opportunity for other businesses. But that doesn't mean there haven't been some challenges along the way. Helga Van Eckert is the executive director of the Flagler County Department of Economic Opportunity. Sea Ray has the determined that they are not going to sell to a boat manufacturer. They're not going to sell to a competitor, which has kind of adjusted our sales in and how we go about marketing the site. So we're now focused on manufacturers and clusters and working with the realtor that they've hired to push the site out. The Sea Ray property includes eight buildings on nearly 40 acres and according to county property records has an assessed value of just under $5 million. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Erking. How will you deal with traffic in Flagler Beach when construction starts to repair A1A after Hurricane Matthews damage? Flagler Beach City Manager Larry Newsom said it won't be easy and it won't be pretty. This is a construction project to get A1A back in shape and it's going to be painful. There's no nice way to say it. Newsom said that while Flagman will direct northbound traffic and it will never leave A1A southbound, well, he said southbound traffic is a different story. Southbound traffic will actually turn off at 7th Avenue South, go to Central and go and all the way down to 23rd. He said DOT in the city will work with businesses on A1A to get customers in and out. Newsom said that he knows that businesses in Flagler Beach have taken a hit and that's why the city will work with them to minimize the challenge of a 300-day road construction project. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. The Flagler County Seniors vs. Crime Project delivers results. With more, here's Tony Magoo. It was a bold move by the Flagler County Sheriff's Office in September 2015 when they partnered with the State Attorney General's Office and offered a free program aimed at helping seniors that have been victims of criminals. The Seniors vs. Crime Unit, as a result of this program, have helped in 325 cases and recovered over $481,000 for the county's seniors. This information was published in an annual report released by the Flagler County Seniors vs. Crime Project Office. Enough good cannot be said about the great work being done by the volunteers involved with our Flagler County Seniors versus Crime Program, Sheriff Rick Staley said. Volunteers in the program also hold regular seminars to show seniors how they can protect themselves from being victimized. For more information about Seniors versus Crime, call the Flagler County Seniors versus Crime Project Office at 586-2634. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date. On Flagler's Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry.